guys, it's Jen here. Thanks for joining me on this first episode of Bushcraft Diva. This is kind of our introduction after my pre-introduction. And before we get into much content, I just want to explain a little bit again about why I'm here. My entire goal right now is to um, bring an understanding of the art of bushcraft to the ladies out there who don't necessarily get it. So you and your other half can enjoy this together. Um, in other words, this is girl speak. This is one girl talking to another. This is not you watching your guy videos and they talk in jargon and you don't, you know, they're kind of, they already know what they're talking about. And we're kind of sitting here going, what's going on? So this is where you're going to get one girl talking to another. And this isn't a stereotype like girls love shoes and purses. And it's also not to be, Hey, let's be one of the guys. This is where we're going to learn to be practical and comfortable and really enjoy all of God's glory out there. And I really want to bring that to you. So um, first of all, we're gonna have a fun environment. We're gonna go over tons of things. The first things we're gonna start out with are the basics. We're gonna start with the five C's and the five S's and I'll get those to you in just a few minutes. Um, but I, I wanted to talk about maybe something that you women might relate to. I thought my husband was insane. He had knives, like a million knives. I, every birthday, every Christmas, every anniversary, I was buying him knives. I'm like, what is with the knives? I mean, I knew there was a difference between a fillet knife and a Swiss Army knife and a hunting knife. I kind of thought hunting knife, he re-educated me. Um, and then he sat me down and he explained to me that each knife has its own purpose, its own functionality, and that's when ding, 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 Oh my gosh, kitchen knives, same thing. So it's not a lot, a lot like the knives, you know, their packs are very much like our purses. We have different functions for them. Their shoes have to function very much like our shoes have to function, just in different ways. So what, now guys, just, just bear with me because I know what you're thinking here. Just hold on. I'm not getting into a whole girly thing. I want women to be able to be themselves. You don't have to lose your sense of style, but don't go out and buy a bunch of pink camo crap and wear that around because that's pretty obnoxious. I mean, unless that's what you're going for, but I want you to be you. So we want you to be comfortable. And uh, one of the reasons I want you to be comfortable, and it's a great story about a friend of mine who when I was first married, we had friends who were going camping with us and I was really getting into it. I've been into the camping, I'm really into this. And we got a call, um, we need to have an electric campsite. And I'm like, why do we need an electric campsite? Well, girlfriend needs to have her curling iron. Okay, so I understand that there are plenty of women out there still, and you may be one of them who wants their curling iron when they go camping. We're getting rid of all of that. You're not gonna be that girl and you're not gonna care either. So um, what we want to do is we want to take a look at how to get you from point A, which is not a whole lot of knowledge, to point B, loving what you do. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about the five C's. And this was birthed by brother Dave Canterbury. Ladies, throw that name out to your man. It will impress him. Dave is a genius. He's a good friend, um, self-reliance outfitters go check him out. He came up with the five C's of survival, which are cutting tool, which I have right here. In fact, I made this with Dave. Um, combustion device, because we need to start fires. Um, cover, I have an emergency blanket in here. Um, container, these are all down here. Sorry, trying to bring them up. And cordage, you need cordage. Um, I'm going to talk about our my five S's. These are the things that I came up with that are addressing the five greatest deterrents to women getting involved in the outdoors. Okay, it's a very bro -y world out there. So we want to dispel that. The first S is a sack. You're going to want some kind of a carrying device. What I have here is a haversack. This was made by Malcolm, the Hidden Woodsman. It is the perfect size for me. It carries all of my stuff. Um, you have to decide, do you want a haversack? Do you want a backpack, a day pack, a rucksack? You know, do a little research. And you're going to want to research that one now because our next episode is going to be on the five C's and you are going to want some kind of carrying device to put your five C's in. 
Next, we are going to talk about shoes. I love my shoes, I love my boots. A lot of women do. Some of you really don't care, but there are five specific types of shoes that you need for the outdoors, and that's gonna be a whole episode in itself. Next, we're gonna talk about sport. What are you going to wear? Long sleeve, short sleeve. Anyone who knows me knows I'm always in tank tops or camis. Shorts, long pants, socks, um, hat. Are you gonna wear a hat? The next, uh, going from sport and kind of getting into the hat is sun. You know, we have to think about our skin, not only for cancerous reasons, but drying out our skin, um, moisture. Are we stripping our hair from, um, from vitamin and nutrients that are naturally there, our oils, that's causing it to get in our face? And finally, sleep. Sleep is the number one issue I hear from women that deters them from getting into the outdoors because they are not going to wake up on a wheezy mattress on a wet tent floor that hasn't been sealed properly. So we're gonna talk about cots and sleeping bags and hammocks and every other kind of sleeping uh, option you have out there. Beyond that, we're gonna talk about cooking, camping, hiking, fishing, kayaking, safety, first aid. So stay tuned. We're gonna get into a lot of stuff, but we're gonna do it step by step in a real organized and fun manner. So what I want you to do now is I want you to start researching your sack to put your five C's in during the next episode. If you have questions about that, drop it in the comments right here on this page. Um, or you can drop them in the Bushcraft Diva Facebook group. You can answer, ask and answer any questions there too. You can also find me on Instagram at Bushcraft Diva. And don't forget to subscribe here. Hit that little notification bell. And thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.